Hi I am George from Max Automotive. I want to give you information about 2018 Nissan GTR, 7 things we know so far. Number 1. It will use the engine from Nissan's 2015 Le Mans Racer. Speaking to TopGear.com, Ben Bobby, Nissan's creative genius behind the LMP1 GTR and the Delta Wing, confirmed that the new GTR would feature an iteration of the twin-turbo V6 powering the company's Le Mans entrant. The 3.0-liter V6, from the LMP1 car, is a sort of godchild of the true, road-going GTR, he said, noting that the unit's direction injection, turbo integration and combustion technology are all applicable to the road. It is truly an early ancestor of what will be a future Nissan GTR engine, he added. In its current, Le Mans spec form, that new 3.0-liter V6 revs to around 6,500 revolutions per minute and produces over 550 bhp. Considering the current Nismo GTR produces 600 bhp, and taking into account the GTR's rate of improvement, we'd expect the new, R36 GTR to produce at least this much, if not more. The V6 will be slotted up front, just like before, and matched to a dual-clutch automatic gearbox. Mizuno San, the father of the GTR, says the GTR will always be a front engine, 2 plus 2 seater coupe, said Shiro Nakamura, Nissan's chief creative officer. Number 2. It'll get electric assistance, too. It will be a hybrid. That's straight from the mouth of Nakamura San. So, allied to that twin turbo V6, we'll also get some form of electric propulsion and battery pack, too. Nissan GB's sports car chief, James Oliver, reckons Nissan's expertise in electric technology forms a good base for the new Godzilla. I think a GTR hybrid is the obvious direction, he said. There's been obsessive development of the GTR over the years, and at some point we will move on to the next generation car. We already have great capability in terms of battery production and electric vehicle technology, so I don't think it's a great stretch to think a future performance product would have some of that tech incorporated into it. Number 3. It will take design inspiration from the excellent Vision Gran Turismo concept. Though Nissan's creative chief stated last year that online renderings of the next GTR were way off the mark, the Vision GT concept built for Gran Turismo is probably the closest thing we'll get to a clue. Maybe some elements from the front and rear, Nakamura-san told TG. In fact, when the concept 2020 Vision Gran Turismo was revealed, Nissan itself admitted the design study was a vision of a what a high-performance Nissan could look like in the future, and the next story to an audience that has always shared our passion for performance. Number 4. It might manage a sub-7-minute lap of the N and um, Merburgring. This one's just conjecture, but consider this, the current, R35 Nismo Fettled. 600 bhp gtr has unofficially blitzed a lap around the green hell on just seven minutes eight seconds not just fast for a gtr but fast full stop that's only nine seconds off the pace of a 740 bhp lamborghini aventador sb on prototype tires again considering the pace of development the gtr is subject to could we see a gtr humbling the radical sr8's record setting ring lap time Number 5. It'll still be a heavy old lump. Supercars are supposed to lose weight over their life cycles, right? Not so the GTR. It has hovered at, around and sometimes above the 1,700 kg mark for a while, the current version clocks in at 1,740 kg, the Nismo GTR at 1,720 kg, and it'll likely stay that heavy. According to the GTR's father, Kazdoshi Mizuno, anyway. A while back he animatedly told TG that the legendary Super Cup had to be that heavy. All journalists say GTR is heavy, 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 it should be lighter, lighter, lighter.
I say, journalists need to develop a more professional level of thinking. More study. More thought. The GTR needs to be this weight. A car with less weight does not handle. Lighter weight can be dangerous, and it will not be drivable by all customers. He uses downforce as an example. An F1 car weighs 560 kilograms, more than 600 kilograms with the driver, he says. How much downforce does an F1 car generate? Around 1,300 kilograms. So what is the total weight? 1,860 kilograms. A GT1 racing car weighs between 1,200 kilograms and 1,300 kilograms, plus downforce of 600 kilograms. The actual weight on the car is 1,800 kilograms. With road cars unable to generate such vast downforce figures, that means we're looking at a hefty curb weight. But with performance accessible to all customers. I have a big responsibility to the customer, he once told us. Number 6. There will be a GT3 version. The current, R35 GT3 GTR has proven race pedigree, with wins in the Block Pen Endurance Series, Super GT, International GT, the FIAT GT, British GT, the VLN, Asian Le Mans, Super Duan GT Cup. It's a fast, angry-looking thing, and there's no question the R36 version will be the next step in Nissan's ongoing motorsports program. Number 7. There won't be a convertible SUV version of the new GTR. Well, probably. Though after the weirdness of the Murano Cross Cabriolet and Nismo Juke, anything's possible at Nissan.